Uh, click the link to join the channel here over at Subscribestar. So Jiggle Physics. Turns out that we could uh, just ignore SJWs this whole time. The uh, video game plans to add Jiggle Physics prompting outrage from obese soy people. Gamers are the most pathetic incel chad losers there are. And definitely not the people who are complaining about the gamers, which is a step removed and even more cringe. So the thing with uh, these obese blue-haired SJWs is they're triggered by people enjoying themselves and beautiful things in general. I mean, that's kind of a communist trait, but it turns out that they don't buy the games or even watch the movies that in some cases are literally made for them or, or buy the games that are made for them, the Conqueror, the Dustborn, the whatever. And if people are not, if they don't have money involved in you and your product and your business, you can just ignore those people, which should have been freaking obvious. SGWs get off on controlling other people. They get a dopamine boost from it. It's why they lose their freaking minds Every time there's a crowd, um, like the populace feedback to a corporation where a character design comes out or a movie, a video game, and there's something that the, the, the customer group doesn't like and they feedback, oh, this Sonic design is a little wonky. Why don't you go in this direction with it? And the SEWs are putting themselves in the position of you know defending these billion-dollar companies and, and thinking they're raging against the machine, but they're on the same side of Chase, Morgan, Bank, and Mc. McDonald's, Coca-Cola, high fructose corn syrup, enjoying Google corporate parasitical company. I said, oh, what happened to the uh, the 90s and the military industrial complex? And you go, oh, you don't understand. That was that was when a uh, Republican was in office. Oh, okay. I said the Sleater Kinney combat rock song. Some suddenly it all kind of died when the um when the guy in office had a D after his name. Uh, perfect circle just kind of disappeared. And what happened? What happened, guy? Oh, we're just gonna rage against the machine in the next four years when someone else gets in office. Really sticking to those principles. I mean, the principles are like smoking weed, and that's basically and, and virtue signaling. Anyway, so SGWs want to control other people because I mean that that itself is another communist uh, trait. Soy boys and cat ladies know that the institutions are captured beyond just the uh, the universities it's the media and like every almost every major corporation and the general audience is just normal people who like um um uh, tna but communism is about being fungibly ugly and bringing you down to their level because usually they are obese and self-hating as as well they should be and they refuse to just eat less and maybe start walking Put down the Twitter SJWs, but they don't want to be reminded of what bodies are supposed to look like in their admittedly idealized form. Of fair enough. The other thing is the uh, rise of the BLT stuff, where they're tr the T part, where they're kind of triggered by women who look like women, even more so with these super idealized hourglass body types because they don't look like that because you know anatomy on you know the skeletal structure doesn't change it is what it is they look more like me in a dress so they've been pushing this androgyny stuff and people are just not on board with it basically we're dealing with demons who are pushing the left hand path the demon you know using they them we are legion sort of thing but koreans and japanese almost slipped up there they have their version of sgws but they're not at the level of the 300 pound american blue-haired cat lady sgw riding the corn syrup powered crazy train plus you have to add in this current trump derangement syndrome where we have four more years of these people virtue signaling about nothing and honestly um it's a little exhausting looking at it and realizing that we really do have these people uh so it turns out that the uh, koreans like jiggly milkers as much as we do which is very much and anything that annoys sjw's is pretty enjoyable so you have this game that the seeding and coping sjw's won't play but they're outraged that it even exists and someone somewhere is having a good time if they see a group of guys at a church doing their game night which happens all the time it's like you know there's a an sjw who's molding coping and seething that that men are getting together and, and doing something together and um they uh you get to play something where you're just a little bit escapism a little break from reality 
And they see these over-the-top characters with, you know, gravity-defined udders. Yes, it's ridiculous. But if it, you know, bothers the SJWs, we're going to be all for it. It feels like something is kind of weird in the air after Trump got elected. I think the SJWs had a nice break with Biden because when Biden was in office, they really didn't have anything to focus on because, you know, it's like you got your guy in office as, as as much of a mess as he was. And, like, I would rather have Biden in office because things were so bad under him and they would have been uh, just as even worse under Kamala, but you would have been pointing to the left and it would have done more damage to them in in general. I mean, it it would have... Like, if you're into the accelerationism argument and even if it sounds horrible, I can look at it and go, ah, that that probably is the right answer. Um uh, but you you can point to the SJWs and go, hey, look, you have your people in office, and and you know the country's an absolute. Hey, Gavin Newsom, Trump got elected, so we're raising gas prices. Oh, oh, get, by all means, go for it. Um, so yeah, Trump, uh, Trump, there is something weird in the air, air, but um, they're going to be insufferable for these next four years, and I suspect that the trans movement is kind of on the way out. The pronoun thing is just going to be ignored as a, a sign of, of mental illness that it obviously is, you know, generations in the past, what did we do? We got piercings and tattoos and that kind of thing. It's like really not that big a deal. And you look at the fads that are going on now and it's this kind of permanent things that they're doing to their own kids where you go, oh, Hey, I got my ears pierced, my nose pierced back in the nineties. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, we did too. got some tattoos. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. But these people are like, oh, so you cut your, you gave your kids hormones and sterilized them? Yeah, well, it was a fad. It was all what we were doing. It was, you know, no harm, no foul. So how's the kid doing? Anyway, so the um, the thing with the woke crowd is they can't boycott something they don't buy in the first place. And they hate beauty. Communists are known for being ugly. They identify with the bugs and starship troopers and the right wing nationalists are well dressed fit and healthy because uh, the director tried to make the nationalists look bad i guess he wasn't a fan of uh heinlein but he just made them look like based hugo boss chads because if the option is to be in shape and dress well versus obese blue-haired nose ring single mom with affirmative action baby it's it's an easy call for normal people to make no 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 you're, you're identifying we're making fun of the the chads you, you should identify with the other side I'm like why on earth would we the uh, woke commie kids don't want fun games and movies but they don't want you to have them either we must have jig- jiggle physics because it's fun all the things the woke crowd says about women's rights or, or whatever is nonsense. SJWs don't believe in women, but they do if they can use it as a lever. And to F with the, the woke, take their points, run with them, and accelerate into the absurd um, arguments based on feelings and pure emotion. The game doesn't degrade women because women don't exist. Or as a woman myself, I can say that these megalopolis examples of the fairer sex elevate and empower women because it gives women a view to aspire to uh, that they should be as skinny and scantily dressed as possible so they can please the 300 pound gamer and as a trans lesbian woman of color i can speak for women the left doesn't expect you to accelerate they want you trapped in a logical box where the right can be counted on to think rationally and you just have to throw that away just become absurd and emotion-based when arguing with them Jiggle physics empower women to eat less and get in shape so they can be desirable and validated to their male partners slash owners. But the trick to all of this is to say it with a deadpan expression. We feel it's our cultural values for women to aspire to be beautiful and skinny. Those we feel are our values. And that's what the diverse empowerment, uh, it makes us stronger together. It's a psych op pushed by globalist parasites to marginalize and oppress beautiful skinny people to make them fat and ugly. Those are Bolshevik social constructs pushing their demonic energies. I mean, we can have fun here. You want them confused as to whether they're dealing with a troll or someone who's actually schizophrenic or someone who's just mildly, I don't know, crazy, but they they think they're acting normally, but they're, they're really acting... Um, crazy. Any, anyway, SCWs are low vibrational energy levels. They've been brainwashed by 
global homogenization media to destroy themselves and to be single and addicted to parasocial relationships to virtue signal into the void until they die alone and their cats eat them. Honestly, these people need to be separated away from society. You could give them like a, a social media, like a North Korean intranet, and it could just be powered by AI. There could be good guys and bad guys and and uh, fictional events that they could virtue signal over, and they could have as like as many Floyd moments as they want. It would all be, it would all just be AI powered fiction, and you know all their friends. It's like every once in a while, Twitter will go through and clean up um, bot accounts, and you'll have these these celebrities who thought their their voice was being heard and their fist in the air speaking truth to power, and and suddenly they find out they lose like twenty percent of their followers. Like yeah, it was those are all bots. You don't really have. All that interaction on your tweets, when The Onion puts out a tweet and there's a thousand likes on it, it's like, yeah, but I think 800 of those are bots because, you know, things like The Onion are um, are not funny. So this this person who's a sentient Funko Pop, it's consume plastic made in China garbage and then focus on consuming, consuming, consuming. And they get excited for, for next piece of plastic made in China that you'll own for a little while and then we'll go into a landfill leaching petrochemicals into the aquifer because we need to you know, understand you understand we need to get things from china made just the worst quality possible shipped over on these diesel burning ships and then uh, and then driven around uh america distribution system on amazon trucks so you can have it on this piece of plastic garbage from china so you can you can have this funko pop on your shelf so you can be part of the current thing and then it just goes into a landfill. It's like, ah, oh, that, that petroleum could probably be used for something else instead of just a, a just this Weimar level plastic garbage bred in circuses. Funko Pop. It's so it's all so tiresome. So you don't have to you don't have the garbage with tits. Um, you don't have to buy this. I, I, there's a joke in there about somebody's girlfriend. You don't have to buy this stuff. But they don't want you to buy this stuff because they don't want what commies are really terrified of is having a juxtaposition between um, kind of in Starship Troops. I could be kind of careful here. A juxtaposition between that kind of concept of the right wing, clean, well-ordered train running on time kind of civilization where everyone's fit, healthy and happy. Oh, you mean literally fashionableism? Yeah. And so you look at the left and then you juxtapose it to these you know, these, these fentanyl people, I'm doing a video on subscribe star about the, the, the juxtaposition between them. Um, we'll call it fas fashionableism and uh, fentanyl. And it's like, there's probably a middle ground, but the left looks at it and they call everything Hugo boss. Um, and, and like, so you look at the left and you go, see, you know, you got these people on the streets and they're whacked out of their mind on probably some Sackler pharmaceuticals or maybe, maybe China. I don't know. Um, and like, that's the ultimate, democracy the libertarian liberal um highest order to have people hooked on opioids opioids and freeze to death come winter yeah what are you some kind of fascist maybe there's a middle ground is all i'm saying and you can check out subscribe store for that kind of stuff you really can't say anything on youtube anymore and um i wonder because trump got elected i wonder if if they're gonna crack down um, and just start eating channels like they did in 2016 to, to 2020 to, to get rid of all those. I mean, I hope they do because it would it would mean there there just be they, like there'd be nothing left on YouTube but uh, girls with big boobs and you know tank tops doing unboxing videos and that kind of just the stupidest low energy um, social media. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks to everyone over on Throne, and I will see you guys all next episode.